So I've had a few requests on how to make hash browns from fresh potatoes. So if you're interested, stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the Stark Solution. If you would like more information on the Stark Solution, I will leave a link to Dr. John McDougall's book, The Stark Solution, in the description box below. On my channel, you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. I don't use any oil and my recipes are gluten-free. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. And for more plant-based content, you can follow me on Instagram at Chew on Vegan. If you're new to this way of eating or maybe you just feel like you need some more support, I started a Facebook group and there you will find recipes, inspiration, and support. And if you're still not convinced that a plant-based diet is right for you, I created a quick little e-guide that explains the benefits of a plant-based diet. And be sure to sign up for my newsletter. It comes out every other month. And in my newsletter, I discuss different topics. Some are from a nursing perspective. We've got some tips, tricks, and some recipes. I will leave all that information, all the links in the description box below. So as I said in the intro, I'm going to show you how to make hash browns from fresh potatoes. I've heard from quite a few of you that can't find hash browns in their area that are just potatoes, there's other things in it, and then some people that live in different countries can't get frozen hash browns at all. So I'm going to show you how to make hash browns from potatoes. So let's get started. So of course we're going to start with a russet potato, which I've washed, and we're going to use just your old-fashioned box grater, and we're going to grate the potato. Uh, with the skins on. Now you can peel it if you'd like. I prefer to leave the skins on. So we're going to use this side of the box grater. You want to use this side. Um, you don't want to use any smaller. They just won't come out right. And then we're going to add the potato to this bowl after we shred it. So very easy. You can also do this in a food processor if you'd like but I like doing it the old-fashioned way. Now look at how much you get from one potato. And I, I'll say, you know, one potato per person. All right, so I'm gonna put these in this bowl over here. And the next part is optional, but I think it's important to do, is I'm gonna rinse these potatoes a couple of times. It uh, gets rid of some of the starch and to me, they come out crispier, but if you don't want to do that, that's fine. So I'm going to just get these rinsed and then I'll be right back. Now the next step, you cannot skip this step if you want them to come out right. So I have like two dish towels. You could use paper towels as well, but I like to use dish towels. And of course you want to make sure they're clean. I think that goes without saying. And then you're just going to dump your potatoes onto the towel. I just kind of spread them out and then what I like to do is I just roll it up like this and then you're just going to twist it and get as much of that water out as you can. You can see there's how much is in there. So you want to try to make them as dry as possible and that is how we're going to get crispy hash browns. Okay. Now the hard part is getting them off the towel into the bowl. And these are like fairly dry, which is exactly how you want them. Okay, so now we're gonna do some seasoning. I'm not going to add salt to it because salt is gonna draw out the moisture and we don't want that when we're cooking them. So, I have garlic powder, onion powder, and I'm not measuring, and then of course smoked paprika because I love the smoked paprika in everything. 
And then I just use my hands to get it mixed up around. Let's go over to the stove and get these cooked up. So you want to start out by preheating your pan. And once your pan is nice and hot, we can add the potatoes. And then we're going to turn it down to medium low. All right, so let's just add our potatoes in. And then spread them out in an even layer. Okay, that looks pretty good. Just want to make sure the you don't have any stray potatoes because those will just get crispy really fast. All right, so we're turning it down to medium low and then we're gonna let this cook for 15 minutes. Okay, it's about a half hour all in total. But if you want crispy, delicious hash browns, this is the way to do it. So I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes and then we will flip it over. So it's been 15 minutes and one way that you can tell that they're ready to flip is that they move in the pan, okay? That means the underside is nice and crispy. So, we're gonna flip this. Hopefully we can do it in one piece, woo! Yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna do another 15 minutes and we're gonna check it at about 12 just to make sure. So I'm gonna set my timer for 15 more minutes and let it cook on this side, but you can see how beautiful, can you hear that? How crispy they are. So about 15 minutes. So hash browns are done and I'm gonna just slide them on this plate, hopefully. There we go. Let's take a taste. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Just check out, check out the crispiness. It's amazing. So I'm gonna fold this in half like that. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of my vegan egg on there. I made that a couple videos ago. I will leave a link to that. And then I'm just gonna add some ketchup to my hash browns. All right, let's give this a taste. So here's the finished product. Like I said, I added my vegan egg on here that I make with mung beans, really good. And yes, these do take longer. It takes about 30 minutes. But if you want fresh hash browns with nothing else added, this is the way to go. And you wanna cook them low and slow, so that way they get cooked on the inside and they're crispy on the outside. So let's give this a taste. And you can see the crispiness, so good. Absolutely perfect. And the best part, we cook them without oil, so you do need a really good nonstick pan. So they really are worth it to make them from fresh. I mean, frozen hash browns are great, um, but sometimes it's just nice to make these potatoes from from fresh and you can use any kind of potatoes you want. I prefer russets for hash browns, but you could use red or Yukon gold, whatever you want. So I hope you give this recipe a try. And if you've made it to this point in the video, please comment below with hash browns. And that way I know you stuck with me to the end and I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, if you got value, if you found it helpful, please hit the like button. It really helps my channel to grow. Remember, all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet, and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. And I'm not gonna add salt to it. <sighs> Got potatoes everywhere. So let's give this a taste. Maybe. And if you've made it, and you've made, oh.